Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners once again. Today I am here to explain Cambridge IGCSE ICT 2020 May June Paper 31 Spreadsheet Part. So, in this part of the question paper, they said you are going to create a present spreadsheet uh, to use as an invoice for Tawara Gaming School. Tawara Gaming Computer, sorry, and open and examine the file 2031prob.csv uh, and 2031board.csv. So we'll open these two files first to check what's going on. Yes. So these are the two files. Now, next step is do not edit or resave these files. You will require this file to for step 15, uh, 12 and 15. So create and format a new spreadsheet that look like this. So you need to create one new spreadsheet which will look like this. So we have nothing to do with these two spreadsheets. So we'll click on file and open a new one, a blank, and we'll adjust it as they mentioned. So this is the one. So from A1 to D1, it is merge. A1 to D1, merge cells. And then the data, as they mentioned, this is the data. We'll just click here and enter the data. Tawara, yeah, that is uh, Tawara actually. And then after Tawara computers, uh, gaming computers, and then after we should it should have a, a black background yes and with a white font yes and then we'll uh, click here to use to choose the option called text wrap and then we just increase the width of it and row cell row 2 we are going to decrease just like that and we'll uh, make this text uh, bigger as it is required a bigger font a bigger and a bigger font and then after this said here to choose for cell a, a3 to d3 merge them and then just enter the data as I mentioned and this one must be with the grey color but again the white font so we'll choose here the color this time grey and the font is white and then it this one is a sans serif font so Arial is best example for sans serif Arial we'll choose this one and then after invoice for these ones to be merged and we need to type here invoice invoice and this one must be again filled with the black color this time and the font size is white and then we are going to adjust the remaining here just like that and then we need invoice number here invoice number and then after we need the customer yeah, invoice number we just forget to put the full column and then after in row 11 processor and then we have motherboard motherboard and then we have make in cell B10 this is B and that is uh, 10 make and here they need model and then they need price price we'll start entering here in the c14 subtotal subtotal 
then discount and then they need invoice invoice total just like that after doing that we need to make a row 13 also smaller and the rest is perfect fine we need to adjust this one with the font as they have mentioned we will choose a font here with the gaming computer yeah, we will try to choose if there is one more any other style for example I choose yeah that's the one and then after this one also the same I will make the font bigger for example 20 and this one I will go and make this one bigger as well for example 16 that's it and this one we just leave it as it is fine after arranging all your sheet like that what they have mentioned here if the cursive font style shown in row 1 and 5 is not available on your computer you can choose another similar font so I have already chosen that then all the details that we have done it is already provided now here place you uh, all the text in the cell must be uh, with uh, their backgrounds when printed now make your name uh, place your name center number candidate number right a line in the header so we'll just click on file we'll go to the print option and page setup and header sorry in the header the right side we need our name then center number and candidate number that is done and then next they mention here place in the text last edited on followed by automatic date center align in the footer so footer center align last edited on sorry yeah we have chosen this one already but not paste it and then after followed by automatic date center align so space here the date is just click on ok and ok now your excel sheet will look like this and then after they said save the spreadsheet with the file name invoice underscore your center number then underscore your candidate number so file and then click on save it as browse i'm going to save it on desktop into the same folder here and then after we'll mention here center number and candidate number as an excel workbook it is saved here they said the model of the processor and motherboard will be typed into cell 11 and 12 of the invoice spreadsheet so the company offer a 20 percent reduction in the price of the product which is calculated in step 17 and 18 so in step 12 in B11, use a function to look up the make of the processor. Use cell C11 for the lookup value and processor file for the array. So, in which cell is it? B11. So, B11 here. We need to use a function in cell B11 so equal to and then we look up then bracket start and then it will 
look up at the value the C11 a yeah, lookup value will be in uh, C11 here and then comma will go to the external sheet and that is called widget uh, processor file so here we have the processor file and then we will choose from A2 to B 44 and then comma column index is uh, column index is here and the column index is 2 and then just mention here false then just close the bracket and press enter so once we enter the values the model then the value will be appearing here the next step is here in B12 use a function to look up the make of the motherboard so use cell C12 for lookup the value of the uh, lookup value and the board file for the array so here we go for cell B12 equal to uh, v lookup then bracket start c 12 then a comma then we'll go to the sheet called board and start selection from a1 till the end that is b21 then column is 2 and then comma false that's it after getting this information and entering the formula in cell d11 use a function to look up the price of the processor in D11 so D11 here equal to V lookup then bracket start C11 then comma again we need to go to the external file to the processor to get the price here so price is written here in column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So we we'll select this all and then comma 7 comma false. And bracket close, press enter and then after here again one more function they mention uh, in cell D14 use of sorry in D12 use a function to look up the price of the motherboard now so here we uh, look up then bracket start C12 then comma the lookup value will go to the motherboard file now and we'll choose this all data then a comma and this time our column is column number 8 and comma false close and press enter so we get the values here and then in cell d14 use a function to add the price of uh, processor to the price of motherboard so here in d 14 we have to write the function so equal to d11 plus d12 that's it and then in cell d15 use a function or formula to calculate discount that will be offered on this invoice the discount rate is 20 percent of the subtotal so here equal to 
d14 and 20% of it so you can just straight away multiply with 0.2 because 20 divided by 100 you will get 0.2 that's it and then in cell d16 use a formula to calculate the invoice total so here equal to invoice total you will be getting d14 then minus the discount in d15 and that's it and then they said enter the following data in appropriate cell in column c if you are invoice in your of your invoice so we'll just get this one copy and here that is the model and then here we need the motherboard model as well that's it when you enter this information here then format all currency value as dollar with two decimal places so all of them need to be formatted as currency we choose this one and then this one and format format cells with the currency dollar and two decimal places just like that and then save your spreadsheet definitely will click on save and next step is print your spreadsheet showing the formula make sure it is in landscape row column headings are displayed and then the content of these cells are fully visible to read so we'll click on page layout change orientation to landscape first of all then formula show formula and we'll adjust our sheet here with the functions just like that and then we need to go to the page break preview to adjust this one in a single page just like that and then we will uh, print this uh, invoice so we'll click on the file then print option page setup and then we choose from here the sheet row and column headings so this is how it will look like now again the improvement need to be done so we'll just adjust like that now print preview again so the row and column headings are fully visible and you can just print this one now next step is to print your spreadsheet showing the values this time so for showing values you just need to click on the show values and then we'll click on normal view and we'll try to adjust each and every column here just like that and then if you need this one to be printed as landscape or page orientation if it is portrait as they mentioned they want this stand portrait no row and column heading so file print option and then no row and column heading so they want only this one to be printed what you can do is you can just increase this one to 100% so the data is fully visible when you print it so that's all from the spreadsheet part of this question paper hope you have learned how to use the lookup function to get the values from external sheet so thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates